Did you ever wonder if these life straw filters really work? I mean, think about it. If you drank some dirty water and it didn't work, you could be letting in some very dangerous parasites into your body. Well, today I'm gonna to put it to the test with a microscope. So let's get some pond water and bring it back to the lab. Okay, I'm here at my backyard pond. This is a very small pond that I have, but uh, it does have some nice pond water to test the life straw with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the sample here. And we'll go ahead and take this back to the lab. Okay, I'm gonna unpackage the filter here. Uh, this is an overview from LifeStraw's website. LifeStraw's membrane microfilters are made of hollow fiber membrane technology, a similar technology used in kidney dialysis. These membranes are made of small straws that contain microscopic pores of 0.2 microns in diameter. Dirty water enters one side of the straws and clean water passes through the pores while bacteria, parasites, microplastics, dirt, and other forms of turbidity are blocked and unable to pass through because they are too large. Okay, so how I'm going to do this experiment is I have a Ziploc bag here and I cut a hole in the corner of the Ziploc bag and then rubber banded tight the uh, Ziploc bag around the entry where the water, the pond water will go. And I'm going to use the gravity to let it sink down and then we'll have hopefully our filtered water at the bottom which will go into a sterile cup and then we can take a look at it under the microscope. All right, so here are the results, and you can see that we have our filtered water here and our pond water here. Obviously a big difference, um, although I do see that there's still a, uh, a tinge color in the water, which will be interesting to see what that means under the microscope. But we'll go ahead and show both of these under the microscope and make that comparison. Okay, so here's a high level view of the pond water. And remember, we're just taking a little drop of, of water to show you. And uh, there, this is just amazing how much life, microorganism life is here. You can see the Ficus longicauda there on the left. And, um, and then all these little Clumidominus, uh, which are single cell green algae that are just bouncing all over the place. And then it looks like there's some decaying matter in there also. Um, and uh, it's just amazing how excited these green algae are. This is a euglena. And uh, so it gives you an idea proportion wise compared to the size of the, uh, of the Clomidominus. And uh, this is at 800 power right here. And here we have a protist. Just swimming along slowly. And so this gives you a good idea of what the water looks like uh, with all these microorganisms in them. So now we're going to the filtered water. And what I did is I had a hard time to focus, so I found an air bubble. And uh, so this is an air bubble, a very small air bubble. This is 800 power. And there's nothing here. There's nothing. It took everything out, essentially. And so we have clean water. Isn't it amazing how you can take dirty pond water with all those microorganisms in them, filter them out, and get clean, drinkable water with something like this? Now, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm not getting compensated in any way. 
And there are other manufacturers out there that also make filters such as this. But I think I'm gonna have to do one last test here to prove that this is clean water. And you know what that is. Hopefully I don't die, right? Here we go. Tastes good. Thanks for being here and look for more videos. Take care.